My name is Nate Hill. My name is Face Funk. I'm originally from Pennsylvania, but I live in Jersey City. I'm originally from uh, Aurora, Illinois, but I live in Chicago, Illinois. We are here competing for Fortnite World Cup while training. I feel pretty good on where we're at right now. We've been doing this as a team for about a year or over a year, maybe. About a year now. So we pretty much have everything we need to do. We just need to maybe work on little routes for stuff like storm tags and new things they've added to the game. Just kind of need to finalize our like routes and our like ideas and pretty much our plans and what we're gonna like do at the World Cup. Like we we're, were saying, I think we're very much ready for World Cup. We've been here, we've played multiple tournaments and placed really well at the biggest tournaments ever. So we're definitely ready. We're not afraid of any duo. We've played against all of them multiple times. We've killed the best players in the world. We've lost the best players in the world. Like it's, it's, it's a lot of different factors go into it. So you can't be afraid to fight anybody. As long as it's smart, you, you're gonna take it. Yeah, I think we're ready as a duo for the World Cup. I'm not worried about any other duo. I mean, if I was, I wouldn't be here. I'd be practiced. We know what we have to do. We've been there. We've done it. We got second. I mean, I just want to win. I got into Fortnite basically out of just boredom of other games. I was playing games like Heroes of the Storm at the time or Overwatch, and that was after like seven years of Dota. So I was kind of just looking for something new, and my friend uh, told me about this game. It looked kind of weird, it looked kind of like childish, kind of strange, and I was like, I guess I'll give it a try, and then immediately just fell in love with it. A couple weeks go by, and I started getting pretty good at it. I started to win a lot of games, so I kind of felt like there was a possibility that I could go pro in it. When I got into the Fortnite, uh, I was playing just H1Z1 and another Battle Royale, and I was kind of getting bored of it, and then one of my coworkers at a restaurant I worked at the time said he was playing Fortnite. And I was like, the game kind of looks stupid, and it doesn't look enjoyable. Definitely. But I gave it a shot, played with him, and then I think that night, was when I was like, wait, this game has potential. I actually enjoy it, and I'm like, and I got hooked on it. I just started playing it for fun. And then at a point I was really good. I was just like, I could probably play this game professionally now. It's funny, I, I, I say I'm a professional athlete, but I don't, I don't feel like I'm a professional athlete, like a basketball player, football player. But I guess there are some aspects to it that are very similar, like the amount of training we have to do to put into it. The, the mental part of, of the game is, is, I guess, the professional side. Um, but it feels pretty amazing because as a kid, your number one goal or what you want to be is always a professional something. So to actually find something I can be professional in and something I love to do is a dream come true, basically. We do put in the time and like work for it. But I mean, it feels pretty amazing to say like, I can play video games professionally and do this as a living. To say I'm a professional athlete, like the sports, I don't know. It still is just like, it's a gray area for me. I don't know. I grew up playing soccer. So like, I always wanted to be a professional soccer player or something, but I always enjoyed video games. So it feels good, rewarding that I can call myself a professional athlete. Advice for, I, advice I give to people that are always asking, um, how do I become this? It's like, it really is just a lot, a lot of practice and it's commitment and it's passion for what you do. But I, I would never tell somebody to just drop everything and and go straight into this. Like you have to have other experiences as well. Like I know there's a lot of kids that are now getting into it and are making it into World Cup and stuff, but the percentage is so, so low. Like you, you need to have, a, have at least have a job and support yourself a little bit before you get into this. But if it is your dream, go for it. Uh, advice if you're trying to become a professional Fortnite player or athlete. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of it is just practice, time, commitment, like Nate touched on. Uh, I don't think people realize how much time we put on in like the scenes, watching gameplay, like going over gameplay and talking about strategies. But I mean, I'm there with Nate. I wouldn't just dive head first, like drop everything. I'd make sure you're stable and then once you can support yourself and you can have like the passion, you want to pursue this, then I would put the time in. I mean, Fortnite gives you so many opportunities to prove yourself. So I, there's so many events where you can like play and then you can play against the best players pretty much in your region and see how well you do. And if you're good, I mean, just put in the time and people will recognize you. So, well, there are a lot of tournaments and 
it's such that you get a lot of prize money and recognition from, but we wouldn't be anywhere near where we are without a big online presence. And we're only as, we can only go as far as our fans follow us to, you know? It's really important to have a website or something like that where you have your past resume, you have connections to your merch, connections to your clips, your, just everything about you really. And it's a good way to connect with your fan base as well. Something that they can relate to. They can learn more about yourself and just kind of be a part of it. As we're like, I mean, as we're growing up, I mean, like, I'm like getting bigger. Like you want to keep an online presence because I mean, your fans want to follow you, see what you're doing. They want to like know your day to day, but also when you're like getting bigger, you're getting accomplishments, you can, it's good to keep an online like portfolio or website just to build, just to show your accomplishments, your clips. People can like look you up online, see what you're all about, get to know you a little bit more. And a website always helps out, just shows your portfolio, where have you been, what have you done, and people can see it at a glance before they get to know you. For me, it means a lot to be on Faves because I, like when I was playing Fortnite, I always wanted to be on an org, and for me, Faze was atop the list, and it fit who I was the best, and I just, it, it's just one of the most recognizable gaming brands in the world. Like, I, I'll, be, I'll be at bars sometimes wearing a Faze chain, and people won't recognize exactly who I am, but they'll see that, and, be like, and they'll kind of start putting it together, yeah. and they'll recognize me from that. So I think it's just really cool to be on one of the original kind of orgs, you know? Yeah, being on phase is amazing. I mean, it was one of my top orgs too when I was considering. And it's just I, same thing that's happened to me. I was wearing a phase jersey and people are like, are you on phase? They'll come up to you on the street. And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, yeah, I don't watch you, but I watch God. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I know all of them. Like, it's just amazing. Just like the support, the family feel of phase and just being recognized like almost globally everywhere. People know the org. It's amazing feeling. This is Nate Hill. This is Phage Funk. It pays up. It pays up.